going swimming. Ow! We're going to the pool yet again. And I'm finally trying the blue lemonade that I've been talking about for literally weeks now. The blue lemonade is so good. Linda tried the froze. What are your thoughts? Like it. Yum, yum, yum. Anything frozen and with vodka is a good drink. Always. <laughs> the House of Blues dog. Review. Review. Yeah. <laughs> So the blue lemonade has like a cotton candy taste to it and it's so good. It literally tastes like cotton candy. It's more of like the aftertaste, but it's so good. I literally just taste cotton candy. Like it doesn't even taste like blueberry candy. Mom, try this and tell me it doesn't taste like cotton candy. <laughs> doesn't it? The first. See? Yeah. Yep. Cotton candy. So the pool is closed now for lightning, even though it's sunny. Um, the bar stayed open though, so we're hanging out at the bar for now. But maybe the pool will open soon, right? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. So I asked Eric for a hug and he said he would give me a hug as long as I told him what time the pool was going to open. And I told him I'm not a weatherman, I don't know when the lightning's going to stop. And now he's mad at me and he said I'm not giving you a hug. Now it's pouring rain and the bar is still the only thing open, so look what we're doing now. And now we're dumping the uh, look at this water on each other. You don't, you don't even. Mustache. <laughs> we shaved half of it off, like right. It's raining now, and the pool's so closed. So uh, I'm just hanging out in the rain because that's the only way I'm gonna cool off. Don't know if the pool's gonna open anytime soon, but who needs a pool because I'm soaking wet now. So I'm just gonna stand. How do you guys like this show? Joe Ben? Eric? Love you. Pizza. I, we like drove into this, I didn't even vlog it. So this is the first plate that you get. It's some noodles, mom had the noodles. The lettuce, there was like four of them and I was like iffy about trying it because I didn't think there was anything on it. There's this dressing and it's so good. It's almost like the dressing that we get at like the hibachi place, but like better. Um, some fruit, and then this is our dinner plate. Oh, there's ribs, chicken. I think that's some kind of corn. Yeah, it looks like corn. Some 
broccoli. And pizza. And pizza. But the rice is coconut rice. And the chicken is amazing. That's what I'm having right now. So yummy. And it's so it's good. Pineapple coconut cake. And a rice crispy treat for me and I.
make this a annual tradition. We have like a few restaurants that we always go to and I think this needs to be top of the list. If we don't do anything else, we do this because it was phenomenal. The food, outstanding. The performers, even more outstanding. Like, oh my gosh, that everything about it was just so incredible. Now we're taking the monorail back to Grand Floridian because it's only one stop. Well, we took a golf cart here, but are going to do the monorail, so now we're taking the monorail back. <laughs> It's that time again. And there's the other one. This is so weird. So we've been reading some funny reviews on people that were not very happy with the spirit of Aloha dinner show. Okay, Mom. Well. So these people said the show was ridiculous. Not only could I barely see, I couldn't hear anything at all. Literally, all I could hear that night was mumbling, blaring through the speakers that I assume is from the microphones on the actors. The clanking of the metal plates and the waiters <laughs> dropped them onto the trays, and the kids whacking their stuff off it. But I wish I had listened to reviews from those who said it wasn't so great. <laughs> My husband and I had booked this on our honeymoon back in 2003, and it got rained out, so we were looking forward to this for over six years. <laughs> what a letdown. Okay. The only part of the show that was good was the fire guy. They should cut out all the other stuff out from the beginning and add a free mixed drink to your ticket price. She would have been much happier. <laughs> all right, I want to get the tripod oh, thing. Yes. Okay, so as as we're reading all these reviews, we're like, we had a great time. Like, there was nothing wrong. My mom goes, wait, we all ordered three cups of coffee and we never got any of that. <laughs> I can't believe what she asked us. We said yes. And she never came back. <laughs> she did come back, which is not with the coffee. This was, okay, here's another one. They were seated in the back of the main floor. They had a really good view of the stage area until the couple seated next to us broke out their camcorders and the woman put her tripod in the middle of the table, <laughs> blocking our entire view. And when the manager went and asked the room, woman to remove the tripod, she said no. <laughs> but the woman next to us stood up and she was rather large. <laughs> with her camcorder and started recording, completely blocking my view and a 10 year old's view. And then the manager went to Lodi and asked her to sit down, to which she replied she would not. <laughs> you can listen if you want. Yeah, that's okay. Where? Okay, wait, I'll sit. Oh, now. Yeah. You're horrible at this. No, 